Okay, so uh, I already made this video, but I'm just basically gonna redo it. So I am, you know, just making a pattern in Procreate, it's really easy. Uh, I'm doing this part really quickly. I'm just making some lines and some different random colors. I know these are really bright, kind of childish colors, but you know, this is just for the example, right? Now I go to the adjustments panel and I choose Gaussian blur and I just blur it a little bit now. And then I go to liquify and you can kind of use random stuff. Um, you see, I have my distortion pretty high, but not too high. And I just increase the size so that it has a bigger effect, but not too high. And I'm really just going in here and just, just messing around with it. You know, I do this until I kind of get a pattern that I like or something that I think looks kind of cool. It's looking kind of trippy here, but you know, just go and try to make it look cute and uniform. Some spaces I feel like they don't have enough color, so I go in there and I draw a little bit and then try to like blend it in. So that's what you're looking at here. Okay, cool. Now I'm just exporting that. Now I'm moving over to the computer. I'm working in Adobe uh, Illustrator and I just airdrop that to myself. So I just dragged it over. Now I'm trying to make the design um, pretty much as close as possible to the exact size of the shorts, just to get as much of that design I'm um, showing on the shorts. You do want it to be outside of the shorts, but still uh, as close as possible, right? Now I just dragged and dropped it. So I'm just moving it up higher. I have a couple of layers there already that are like clipping masks that are basically uh, just already conforming to the shape of the shorts so that it's like an overlay. And I feel like it's a little too bright. Um, like unrealistically bright. So I'm just changing it a little bit here. Not that much, cause obviously like this design is really trippy, but just as an example, but you can see, you still see that detailing the mesh just for that realistic look, you know, for the mock-up. But you can kind of see how these designs would look if you were able to get something like this. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add uh, some text on here, just for fun, you know, and Right here, uh, I said I moved over to Adobe Illustrator. I lied, I'm using Photoshop for this. Um, so this is just like a, a like a mesh shorts mock-up that I made. And um, and I, it's, it's basically a template file for Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm just over here being slow because sometimes I like just start grabbing and moving things around as if I was an Adobe Illustrator because that's what I'm more comfortable with. And now I have to, fix the background and it's just really weird too like if you have anything selected and you're trying to undo it's just finicky i'm still uh, working my way around photoshop i'm not as familiar or as just let's just say i'm not as comfortable with it as i am with um, adobe illustrator but here we go you know it's called oasis digital graphics so gotta toss in the name oasis i'm gonna go and change that font because i don't like it pretty basic. Now I thought that you guys could see the entire uh, program screen when I was recording, but apparently not. And hopefully this will do it. Now I just, I'm putting this here and I'm gonna duplicate it in a minute. Um, and then like increase the stroke of the one in the back just to give it a black outline. So I duplicated it. Um, we're gonna change it to black, which is what I'm doing or about to do over there in the corner whatever, here we go, changing it to black, or I think I'm changing it to black, notice for the background color, what the heck, this is weird, so nope, that didn't work, I have to actually click on the layer, I'm trying to make sure I'm clicking on the right layer, yeah, it is, so go there, I have to use, you have to actually select the text tool, so, and then select the text itself, then change the color, here we go, pow, now it's black, now I just want to change the, um, just move the layers around because I wanted the black in the back. So I'm just gonna drag that up there so that it's in the back. Then I'm going to, um, I'm just looking around for how to increase the stroke. Cause like I said, Adobe Illustrator is my program of choice or the one that I'm super familiar with. So yeah. And then on the, the thing is that, you know, stroke is not in the same place there. So to find the stroke for text in Adobe Photoshop, you basically have to go to like 
you select the text layer and then you go up into the options and select layer and then uh, see layer style stroke voila magic right now I was increasing the stroke and I was like okay that should do it and I'm going you're going to see me get out of this screen and then when I go to uh, command T I'm on a Mac so I command T so that I can like move that behind it and you see like it's literally making no difference it's flush so I'm like okay let me go back to the stroke in my mind I'm like maybe I need to increase it but the reality of it is you see the position it says inside you have to make it outside right now you see that that line and so I'm like okay uh I'm like nah I feel like it needs to be a little darker so I just double click on the stroke again not that dark there we go that looks better and I mean, this is just to give you an example. This is not like, you know, I don't know. Actually, you know, the more I make these examples and I put Oasis on clothes, I'm like, that could kind of be dope. Maybe not like flat out like this. Like I said, it's just an example, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just trying to place it, you know, as center as possible. And uh, what I actually end up doing is those two Layers, I just link them together so that whenever I move one, I move the other. I'm over in my library now. So I just have a bunch of uh, random like PNGs and SVGs that I have like, just stuff that I've just made off the cuff or whatever. And it ends up in that library every time I drag and drop it over. So I have this like this little LA here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna put that on top of the oasis there now it looks a little more off when I do that so we're just gonna go here and link those two together I'm just gonna move it a bit now if you link those two layers together it just allows you to move and resize the layers at the same time so first I'm just adjusting that oasis and then just trying to see where I want it to be in relation to the Los Angeles I'm about to link the two layers together. Keep, it must be at the bottom somewhere. Sorry, you guys can't see that. But I linked them together and I'm just moving this into a better position. And that's basically it. That is the mesh shorts mock-up. That's how you make a design and procreate. Um, if you want this mock-up, there's a link in my bio. You can see it still has the detail, it's lit. Uh, there's a link in my bio. You can get the actual mock-up itself uh, on my Etsy shop. And feel free to subscribe, like the video. Everything helps. Appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.